Good morning. Good morning, Your Majesty. Ma'am, I'm delighted to welcome you to KPMG. Yeah. This is not the first time you visited us, of course. Uh, you formally opened our London headquarters here at Canada Square in 2010. And I remember that day very clearly. You spoke to me and some of my colleagues when you toured the building. And of course, back in 1976, you kindly welcomed us to our building in Puddle Dock in Blackfriars. Our firm has evolved over its 150 year history. Uh, today we are auditors, of course, but we also have thousands of specialists that help business transform, improve and grow. Uh, please let me introduce you to four of my colleagues. Let me start with Jennifer Lee, who is joining us from Liverpool. Jennifer, over to you. Thank you, Bill. I started my career as a graduate with the firm almost 20 years ago. I'm the first member of my family to go to university and I'm from Kensington and Liverpool, which is one of the most deprived areas in the city. And I wanted to share that background with you, Mum, as KPMG has taken a leading role on social mobility for a number of years now, believing it not to be merely a matter of fairness, but an economic necessity. And not only does the firm believe in diversity, inclusion and social equality, but it lives by these values. And I'm proof of this, having recently been promoted to lead in the Liverpool office. And I don't know if you are aware, ma'am, but we've always been a pioneering firm. And in 1924, Ethel Watts was the first woman to qualify as an accountant by exam. And she was the only female professional at Pete's, which went on to become KPMG as we know it today. She really paved the way for thousands of women like me to have a career in accountancy. And KPMG have continued to drive forward change in 2019, we became the first of the big four accountancy firms to achieve gender parity on our UK board. And our board is now 55% women, and there are female role models across the firm who are leading by example and inspiring future leaders of tomorrow. That's very interesting to hear. My next colleague and fellow KPMG board member is John McKellar Lacey. John is a visible and powerful role model for black heritage colleagues in our firm. He's also an accomplished athlete and coached the British Whitewater Slalom team for many years. John, can you please share some more? Thank you, Bill, and good afternoon, Your Majesty. It's wonderful to meet you. It's really nice to see you. Ma'am, at a young age, I became interested in the obscure sport of whitewater canoe slalom, uh, which I started with much enthusiasm, but my family could not afford the cost of the specialist equipment needed, nor the cost of travel to national competitions. I was incredibly fortunate to receive funding through the Princess Trust, which enabled me to progress my career as an athlete. Man, this was a real turning point in my life, as prior to this, I was failing in school, but sport gave me discipline, and focus. Now, now ma'am, I am proud to be a partner and elected board member at KPMG. So how long have you been involved with KPMG? So ma'am, uh, actually next month will be my 20th year, will be my anniversary at KPMG. It's been a, a, a fantastic journey. It's very interesting to hear about it. Thank you ma'am. Does... I'm sorry? Uh, oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I, I lost you. I wasn't sure, actually, if you could hear me. <laughs> no, you've just disappeared, all of you. Oh, <laughs> that's terrible. I'm still here, ma'am. Good. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry. I'm not sure exactly when you lost me. You, I think you. you were talking about the pandemic. Oh, that's right. That's right, ma'am. Thank you so much. Uh, this year was really an incredibly difficult year. Uh, for us within the firm, within KPMG, because uh, not only uh, did we have to adapt to the many challenges that the pandemic brought, um, we also uh, witnessed, like everybody around the world, that this deeply, deeply distressing scenes uh, and the event unfold, which ignited the Black Lives Matter campaign right across the world, but also here in the UK. One of our great learnings is that our experiences during this pandemic has shown us that organizations can respond quickly 
And I'm really proud to say that we responded quickly. Uh, we, we already participate in the Race at Work survey, and we have signed up to the CBI's Change the Ratio campaign and the Charter for Black Talent in Finance and the Professions. And we've chaired discussions across the globe um, on the impact of these events on mental health, and we've committed ourselves to an externally published Black Lives Action Plan. And this complements our existing inclusion, diversity, and social equality initiatives. And ma'am, I'm conscious that uh, I'm probably overrunning with time, and, but before I pass back to Bill, ma'am, if I may, I, I would like, I'd like to ask that you please uh, pass on my sincere gratitude to His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, for the Princess Trust. Uh, receiving the support that I did and when I did changed my life, and I will never forget this, uh, nor will I cease in my effort to work with my fellow partners and others to use my position of influence to support and encourage others. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll indeed pass it on to, to my son, who, who, was, who was very proud of, his, of the idea of the Prince's Trust, which I think has helped a lot of people. Absolutely. And I'm testament to that, ma'am. Yes, thank exactly. You thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you, ma'am, and thank you, John. I'm going to invite Cheryl Valentine to speak now. Thank you, Bill. And you know, as Bill says, ma'am, prior to KPMG, I was a medical corps and a physiotherapist. And I also spent a number of years prior to this working as a physio in the NHS. And during my time in the I worked in a variety of medical and regimental roles, from deploying with the Army's High Readiness Medical Regiment to the lead in the Lower Limbs Team at the Best Medical Rehabilitation Centre, Headley Court. I think that experience of training and operating in these high-octane and high-pressure environments has really been beneficial this year. I've been involved for most of the year with the firm's work supporting the UK's response to COVID-19. Uh, I, th I really think actually my experience in the Army meant that I could support colleagues during these projects who were much less used to working in such high pressure environments. But I'm sure the, the actual services have, have done a huge amount to, and, and your training has obviously helped a lot. Yes, it has helped an awful lot. I'm very, I've been very grateful for the last nine months of having that. When when did you join KPMG? Yeah, I joined KPMG last year, ma'am. Oh, last through, year? Yeah, just last year. Um, through the um, Forces in the Firm Military Leavers Programme. I think the firm really recognises the benefits and assets that ex-military personnel and firm colleagues bring. We really do have a unique set of skills and characteristics, you know, to name but a few adaptability, meticulous planning, and last but not least, which has really been brought to the forefront this year, is resilience. Yes, I'm sure that's been very, very uh, important. Oh, well, thank you very much for explaining to me about it. Let us go to Glasgow now to meet David McIntosh. David joined our firm on KPMG's Apprentice Scheme. Good morning. Good morning. I would love to share with you my story, a story of social mobility. I was brought up 22 years ago in Preswick, in the west coast of Scotland in Ayrshire. But in the neighbouring town, my father grew up, a town called Kilmarnock, a town which was once identified as the most deprived in Scotland. In fact, in the 1980s, my dad was a guard in the Scots Guards. He fought in the Falklands and he even guarded Buckingham Palace. So meeting with you today, brings me very full circle. I'm so very proud of him, and I'm sure he's so so proud of me today. Well, thank goodness for technology. So we can still do this. Yes. In 2017, with the support of the Social Mobility Foundation, I joined KPMG on their apprenticeship program. Three years on, in our 150th year, I am the first apprentice in management consulting in Scotland. I'm not sure if you're aware, ma'am, but we have 900 apprentices across the UK at KPMG. Oh, that's very interesting. Well, it was very nice to hear about KPMG's 150th. It sounds as though 
It's all going very well, in spite of all the difficulties. It is, it is difficult when people are used to being so close to each other and, and it's been, you know, everybody's been divided up so much. Done. Before we leave you, I would like to introduce you to the KPMG Choir. It would have been lovely to have them in person, but I do hope you enjoy this. Thank you very much.